Bulls passing high over the 10th Avenue Bridge and the Mississippi River here in Minneapolis. A gorgeous scene. Welcome and happy holidays from 2K Sports. It's time for NBA action. And tonight, it'll be the San Antonio Spurs going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves here at their home, Target Center. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. D.A., it's all yours. Kevin, good evening. Carl Anthony Towns is certainly the franchise player now for the Timberwolves. Kat said, you lead by action and you lead by words. I'm more of the action guy. When things get tough, I've got to be the guy that leads the charge. Kevin, he knows his role and he knows his place atop the Wolves franchise. Knows it very well, D.A. Thank you so much. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. Taking a look at Minnesota. Down at 10th in the early going, looking to make a move up in the standings. And, of course, San Antonio. Just a few spots below there. And, you know, right now for San Antonio, it's been a disastrous start to the season for them. They can't buy a win. Now they can't really afford to slip any farther down in the standings because let's face it they don't have the firepower to dig themselves out of too deep a hole once they're in it and the starting group for the Spurs it's Aldridge at the power forward with Pirtle at center then it's DeRozan then there's DeJounte Murray and it's Walker in at the two guard and for Minnesota Edwards is out there with Carl Anthony Towns and there's D'Angelo Russell then it's Malik Beasley and it's Rubio in at the point guard position and in the early part of the season, some teams still working out the kinks. Doris, where does the level of play peak, do you think, in the regular season? Well, most teams would tell you they hope they're playing their best basketball down the stretch as you're marking toward the playoffs. But the fact of the matter is, Kev, that begins on a day-by-day -day basis. You are building habits from the first game of the season all the way through the end of the year. Murray on the clock. Murray, no good. Now, here is Russell. Beasley with a clean look. Misses the three. Walker in the post. Russell's there. Walker's shot is off. The Spurs come into this one following a loss to Memphis. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down and really the story of the game. What was most disturbing to me was they didn't have a backup plan, right? The threes aren't falling. What do you do next? Rubio against Murray. That's a two from Towns. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Well, this is just another weapon that Cat has at his disposal. A seven-footer with a sweet jumper off the pass. How do you guard Carl Anthony Towns anyway? Now here's DeRozan. He's coming off a 19-point game against Memphis. Hurdle finds Murray. Drops in the layup for two. And when Hurdle sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. And so just over a minute and a half played. Outside, Towns. Connects from three-point range. Towns has got five. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's DeRozan. He seems to always be finding ways to score, averaging around 23 and a half points a game. Boy, what a thing of beauty by DeMar DeRozan. His eyes are up. He locates his teammate just so pretty. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And Rubio kicks to Beasley. Pass to Towns. Back to Beasley from outside the arc. And Pirtle pulls it down. For San Antonio, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Here's Walker. It's a hand on it. And Murray with the second chance points. 
He has seven. Well, not sure who was responsible for the block out, but this guy got in there and dug out his points. And Rubio kicks to Beasley. Towns down low, defended by Pirtle. Rubio outside. Shot clock, reset for the Timberwolves. Oh, and he misses the dunk. Great contest by the defender, but that's a dunk you've got to put down in his face. Shot's good by Walker. This is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Outside, Russell. Can they get it? That one misses. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. And last season, Carl Anthony Towns shooting over 40% from three-point range with over eight attempts a game. I mean, Greg, he is in the conversation, don't you think, for best three-point shooting center of all time? It's amazing, Kevin. His volume of threes is unprecedented for the center position. And it's not just standstill. Catch and shoot triples. He's hitting step backs. He could have that title when it's all said and done. Here's Towns following the score by Jakob Pertl. Well, that's how you bring out the best in your teammates. Towns is a prolific scorer, but guess what? He'll find you if you're open. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. Spurs working the ball around now. Just five to shoot. The pass to Murray. The three. The offensive rebound. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Timberwolves trail by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Edwards. Here's Towns. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, beautifully done by Towns, using the up fake to bait the defender. And the Timberwolves have made it clear Carl Anthony Towns is their franchise player. He's the guy they're building around. First one falls, and we've heard Towns for years pronouncing his happiness with the Timberwolves. Last season, Greg, as the losses piled up, some rumors that he was getting frustrated. Well, we've seen this pattern with the Timberwolves before, right? Kevin Garnett, Kevin Love, all-star big man who ended up leaving the Twin Cities to win titles. And stolen by Russell. To the inside. And Towns, the bucket on the assist by Russell. Towns has got nine points. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now, here's DeRozan. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Russell, no good. And DeRozan, here we go. And the rejection by Town. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That is his first foul of the game. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. Timberwolves trail by four. Rubio, the pass to Beasley. Now, here is Russell. Here's Towns. And it's Russell at the elbow. Rubio in the corner. Beyond the arc. It's rebounded by Aldridge. Spurs leading by four. Outside DeRozan. And he goes right over to Angelo Russell and slams it down. This guy does not mess around. DeMar DeRozan, spectacular. My goodness gracious, sir. Here's Russell coming off a stellar performance against Detroit. 
and the shot is good. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy, it takes activity, it takes intensity. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Ed Davis has checked in for Minnesota. San Antonio also making some changes. Gay comes in for LaMarcus Aldridge. And Derek White subbed in for Lonnie Walker. Now here's Murray. He has seven. Passes to Gay. Arder Rosen on the wing. To the middle. Clock at four. Shoots over Rubio. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Well, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. The importance of the three-point shot never greater than right now. And in your eyes, there are some players who are just absolutely dead, solid, perfect from distance. No doubt about it. And, and you know, there's three guys to me, though, that kind of separate themselves. Uh, and it's one because you have to honor their ability equally off the dribble from three and at attacking the paint. Steph Curry, James Harden, and Damian Lillard. Those three guys can all hit pull-ups and step backs from range off the dribble. Uh, they all got great vision, you know, so they can take advantage of defenses that get caught loading a little too much. And then they also are terrific at the, in the paint at getting to the free throw line. So those are the three guys I think that create the most havoc uh, when you start start talking about having to guard the three-point line. And the rejection by Towns. No one near Edwards as he lets it block. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. White with it. Picked up by Edwards. The wide open look here for DeRozan. The three-pointer no good. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. San Antonio leading. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. DeRozan's got his second bucket. Gets one to fall, but only a second make in the first seven attempts. Al Russell. He's a guy that can score, no doubt, averaging over 25 points a game. And Pirtle sends it back. Active defense from Jakob Pirtle. That's the key. When he stays active and alert, blocks are going to be there for him. You want easy looks? Don't allow the defense to set up. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Yeah, mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. I thought what really stood out was how dominant they were on the offensive end. That was about as flawless as you could hope for. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Towns. Culver comes in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Russell. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. Lock at six. McLaughlin. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Spurs leading by six. White the pass to DeRozan. A solo fast break. Pass to Culver. Pass to Okogie. He can't get that one. Nice D from DeRozan. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. White looking around. Right side DeRozan. And the shot goes down. And now it's an eight-point San Antonio lead. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. And this matchup with the Spurs, it's their first meeting of the season. And they swept the season series against them last year. They really did have the upper hand. And the Spurs with some changes. Johnson comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Mills in for DeJounte Murray. 
Here's McLaughlin, covered by Mills. Colbert kicks to Hernan Gomez. No good on the triple. Spurs leading by eight. Outside, White on the wing, Johnson. Back to White. Dishes it to Johnson. Pirtle trying to get open. A second chance effort. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, for a player with Pirtle size, that type of play he needs to make. Get inside, draw contact, get to the line, be physical. Love it. For San Antonio, they have made their only other free throw attempt today in an earlier trip to the line. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. He hits one and misses one each at the line. So how cool is it that Jakob Pertl makes NBA history as the first ever Austrian-born player in the league? Doesn't matter what else he does in his career, he'll always have that distinction. That's cool. The pass to Pertl. Back to Mills. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Timberwolves trail by nine. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for DeMar DeRozan. And something has really clicked for him at the free throw line. In the past five games, this percentage at the line is much better than it had been prior. Sometimes that's how it works. A switch flips, and all of a sudden, you're locked in. Now here is Pirtle. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Memphis. And we can't forget his dominance on defense, guys. His shot blocking altered the entire game. Well, the pass to set up that bucket was terrific. Fired it right up the court. Didn't allow the defense to react in time. Nice. Here's White. Last time out, he had 13 points. And Gabe with the second chance points. And the Spurs lead by nine. Already, they piled up eight second chance points. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Davis surveying the floor. And Pirtle sends it back. And a fast break now for the Spurs. And White kicks to Mills. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's a Kogi. He's guarded by Johnson. And he comes up with the deuce. You know, you have to use the bounce pass in that instance to make the catch easier. And it's Mills with the ball for the Spurs. Seven-point differential. Johnson finds Pirtle. Back to Johnson. Pass to Gay. Launches it. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Gay's got five points so far. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. The Timberwolves shooting only around 32% so far in this one. The offense looking a bit off kilter. Davis, the pass to Culver. A Kogi for three. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got nine rebounds in the game, getting it done. And Mills kicks to White. Comes up empty from 19 feet out. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. It's San Antonio as they end the first quarter on a 14-6 run. And we'll get it going after this from the target center. And catching up with Carl Anthony Towns, he talked about what this team needs to improve upon to get to the next level. 
talk about the message of discipline, sometimes our discipline gets away from us. And I think that's what happens on our defensive end, you know, that our discipline um, lacks. And we're starting playing free basketball, and uh, it's not team basketball. And Greg, of course, we see many teams having this issue. The game is so fast-paced now, it's hard for guys to value each and every possession. That often leads to careless play at both ends. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And looking at what we've seen from the Spurs so far, guys, what do you think? You, you got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. We've got Culver, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Timberwolves trail by 12. Greg LaMarcus Aldridge taking more three-pointers last season, easily passing his career highs in attempts with almost three a game. And Aldridge shot a very respectable percentage from outside. In order to play heavy minutes at the four, you need to be able to shoot. Good to see Aldridge still adding new wrinkles to his game. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. The Timberwolves were fined last season for resting D'Angelo Russell on the road in a nationally televised game. Minnesota said, we're a player-centric organization that's focused on learning and optimizing our players' bodies. The guys, they do seem willing to pay a fine here or there to protect their players' health. Back to you. Oh, as a player, how couldn't you like that? Always watching out for it. David, thank you for that one. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Towns, he's checked in for Hernan Gomez. Malik Beasley comes in for Josh Akogi. And Ricky Rubio subbed in for Jordan McLaughlin. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Beasley outside. Out to the right wing. Kicks it out to Rubio. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Left side, Walker. Back to Mills. Shoots from 14. Good D by Rubio. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Spurs leading by 10. And it's Walker penetrating. Well, a look at Lonnie Walker, the 18th pick in that 2018 draft. He's being brought along slowly as the team loves his potential. But he has a lot to smooth out with his game. It's his first trip to the line. And just 72% from the line a season ago. Not the greatest of numbers, but there are guys who are far worse off when it comes to free throw shooting. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Walker. D'Angelo Russell's checked in for Culver. Good on both. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Towns. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Greg, you talk about the upside with Lonnie Walker. This team loves his athleticism. You know, not the typical Spurs-type player we've seen targeted in the past uh, an athletic maniac who can fly end to end the polish to his game will come it's just going to take some time and that one is good by beasley wow able to survey over the top of defenses as well as squeeze into tight quarters rubio is the consummate playmaker now here's walker he's got eight Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on D'Angelo Russell. Maybe we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself, do you agree with that statement? 
Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 Shooting points. Two. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more. Uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And if, if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. Edwards, he's checked in for Davis. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Murray's checked in for Patty Mills. Easily outside. Feeds to Towns. Gay with the block. And got to respect those long arms of Gay. I mean, superb at swatting shots away with those big hands. The kick out to Walker. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got rebound number eight now on the night. Rubio. They get it back. Beasley outside. It's good from long range. Beasley's got six here in this quarter. Well, after hitting zero from distance in the first, that's his second make this quarter. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Vassell. Aldridge trying to break free. Vassell, no good. DeMar DeRozan, he's checked in for San Antonio. Timberwolves trail by six. Rubio with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. Pass to Towns. The three. Rebound San Antonio. Murray's got his fifth rebound in this one. Inside. Here's Walker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on D'Angelo Russell. He's had poor chances at the line, made them all. Shoot two. That one is off. And didn't have a single free throw in that first quarter, but he started to play with a little bit more of an edge to his game here in the second. And he's good on the second. Timberwolves trail by seven. Rubio with it. Picked up by Aldridge. Rubio outside, free throw line jump shot, and it's Gay with the rebound. With him scoreless in the latter part of this one, it's awfully hard to come back. Walker dishes to DeRozan. There's the triple. Walker's shot is off. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play, a three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And he's got his first chance at the line here. One shot. One shot. And to me, the ceiling that D'Angelo Russell has is really high. This guy is dynamic. He's confident. He can score it. And he's just going to continue to want to prove himself. Now here's Murray. He's coming off a 13-point game against Memphis. Here's Gay. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Gay's got his third basket of the night. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And here's Russell. Takes the three. Rebound San Antonio. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. 
a good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. So it's the Spurs now. Six-point lead. Game. It's hauled in by Edwards. And now Minnesota on the fast break. Beasley, the pass to Edwards. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Rudy Game. Clearly a foul. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things, winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathom is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. Beasley outside. Out to Russell. Let's go. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. Russell's got nine points. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. And the pass to Aldridge. Outside, Walker. On the wing to Rosen. Kicks it out to Gay. From past the arc. San Antonio again missing. Beasley with foul guarded by DeRozan. Russell with a wide open look. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. And Murray's got the ball here for San Antonio. When this game is done, they'll be off to Orlando and they'll take on the Magic. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And the dunk by DeRozan. I'll tell you, there might not be anyone in the league who enjoys a nice opportunity to send it in as DeMar DeRozan. How about the bounce in his step? Timberwolves trail by four. Rubio right side. There's Russell with the three. Again, Russell missing. No idea why he's attempting so many outside shots. It's not his day, and he needs to either look to drive or get it to an open teammate. Beasley against DeRozan. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you watch DeRozan play. He still has that explosiveness. Great first step out of the triple threat position can switch directions on the go is still a handful to slow on the perimeter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good from DeMar DeRozan. Greg, with the explosiveness you talked about with DeRozan, it helps that he finishes so well when he gets to the rim. And maybe not what he once was, but he is still an elite level athlete. Doesn't only have to drop the hammer when he gets to the rim either. Very smooth at adjusting mid flight to finish at the rim. And so he makes both from the line. And just over 80% from the line right now a big improvement over what they shot in that first quarter it's stolen by Johnson rebounded by the Timberwolves Edwards got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight Johnson surveying the floor fertile high post outside white Gay left side. Shot clock at five. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Timberwolves trail by six. Here's McLaughlin. Right side Towns. 
Another foul would give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. The Timberwolves made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And he knocks down the first one. You get the sense that Carl Anthony Towns, as young as he is, knows he can be the best player in the league. There isn't a phase on the offensive end from which he can't score it. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Passes to Gay. Over Hernan Gomez. Towns with the steal. Last break, Minnesota. That one's good. The San Antonio lead is cut down to just two points with the bucket from Russell. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Minnesota making a switch here. Culver's checked in. We've got a moment to see the league leaders in steals. Fifth best, DeMar DeRozan. And he's been a rock for them defensively. Just so many steals for him this year, and, and so many of them have been in key moments for his team. Outside, White. Pass to Gay. To the paint. Here's Pirtle. And the rejection by Towns. A terrific effort by Towns. Sticks with the play and sends it back. Offensive rebound. Another shot. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. This is his third trip to the free throw line. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. 79% overall. And the first one at the line is good. That one drops. He ties it up. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. White bounce pass. And the rejection by Towns. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Towns. So it's the Spurs now. Gay passes to Perla. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Another miss by Minnesota. It's DeRozan with the drive. And a chance here to take a look at the numbers for Rudy Gay. Getting around 12 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And he gives them a nice rotation on the front court. He is a quality reserve. Well, the one thing you can't teach is size. He's not as developed skill-wise as some guys, but certainly a, a valuable a backup for this team. Two shots. The first free throw is good. You know, the determination that DeMar DeRozan plays with, it's sort of this steely, I'm going to get where I want to go, and don't sleep on his athleticism. Mills, he's checked in for the Spurs. Both free throws, good from DeRozan. 
an efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Now, here's Culver. Light covering. Culver with it. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Six to shoot. Up and in on the layup. Culver's got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. Boy, tough to finish with contact from that range. Shows what a determined scorer Jared Culver is. Pass to White. Back to Mills. Three-pointer. Doesn't get it to drop for him. So Minnesota will take it the other way. The Wizards on the road to face them after this game. They'll find themselves in the middle of the string of three straight at home. And here's White. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one is on Towns. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for White. Davis has checked in for the Timberwolves. Second free throw, no good. The Timberwolves trail. A shot by Culver, nobody around. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. The pass to White. Here's Vassell. He's now one for two with that bucket. How good a playmaker are we watching? Always leading, always trying to create for others. The Timberwolves shooting 31%, not looking sharp offensively, to say the least. We've got 118 left here in the second. Passes it to a Kogi. Ball stolen. Mills with it. Missed inside. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. For three, a Kogi. Vassell grabs the board. I'll tell you, they're trying to cut into this lead, but he has not hit one this period. And here's Mills from the arc. Basket made just his second this contest. He's two for seven now. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Forty-nine seconds left to play here in the half. McLaughlin, the pass to a Kogi. Now here is Hernan Gomez. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Yeah, that's a great setup. Screen the defender off and let him elevate. All oh, right, and wasn't the timing ideal? My goodness, the D with no chance to react. Uh, the execution was simply flawless. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you run that play. Shots good by Mills. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Timberwolves trail by six. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Here's McLaughlin. Pass to Hernan Gomez. And that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. 
And so it's the San Antonio Spurs with a six-point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Ricky. Bench has always been an issue here. When they produce like they did in the first half, how does that help you? It's amazing. That means like we are we have a deep bench and then a lot of work from the staff, from the from the everybody of the of the team, like doing uh, extra work and winning games. Trying to change the culture around here. Thanks, Ricky. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet. Kenny Smith, let's get to it. Well, last season, the Spurs were not a threat in the West. Felt like the end of an era. Big fella, how long until the Spurs turn it around? Not as long as you think. I think they have a fantastic front office. Listen, players always improve when they're on the Spurs. You ever heard of a guy named Kawhi Leonard? Mm. Very good. Hey, he used to play with the Spurs. Yeah, but losing him was a setback. You know, because no one knew that he was as good as he is, honestly. You know, Maul looks like he probably feel that void. But they got something to build around. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Carl Anthony Towns has been sensational. Didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the court right now for the Spurs, it's Aldridge at the power forward with Pirtle at center. Then there's DeJounte Murray. Then it's DeRozan and it's Walker in at the two guard spot. Russell kicks to Edwards, and Edwards with the stuff. Well, the more repetition he gets, the more floor awareness you develop. D'Angelo Russell showing a desire to get his teammates involved. Now here's Murray. Pass to DeRozan. Down low. Here's Pirtle. Out to DeRozan. Over Beasley. That one rolling around and rims out. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jakob Pirtle. That is his first foul of the game. Timberwolves trail by four. Rubio, the pass to Beasley. Here's Rubio. Offline with his three. San Antonio leading by four. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Inside, Aldridge. And that one is good. And guys, if you let Aldridge get inside with the ball, you've already lost. I mean, he's too big, too strong, too skilled. The Timberwolves shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. Over to the wing. Russell with it. Now guarded by Pirtle. He gets it in there. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Murray after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Here's Aldridge. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Aldridge has got four points in the quarter refusing to let the D have the last word. Aldridge just excellent at converting on physical defense. 
And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Now Rubio. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. He kicks it to Towns. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for San Antonio. Rubio against Murray. It's good, and the San Antonio lead is cut down now to just four points with the basket from Rubio. That's a, that's a tight handle of Rubio. Uses change of speed and direction so well. Now here's Walker. He's got 11. DeRozan finds Aldridge. Out to DeRozan. Over Edwards. DeRozan's shot is off. Edwards with it. Now guarded by DeRozan. It's three on three on the fast break. DeRozan against Russell. Kicks it out to Rubio. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Wow, really good aggressiveness by Rubio. A key we talk about getting to the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And take a look at what he's been able to do at the free throw line. 82% more than acceptable. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Now, this is one of the most talked about international players ever. And I think Rubio just needs to stay healthy and keep working on that shot. So he gets them both. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Murray dishes to Walker. Back to Murray. Now the pass to Walker. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Walker's got 13. Well, use the pick and going right to the cup. I love the aggressiveness. Timberwolves trail by four. Easily outside. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Rudy Gaze checked in for Jakob Berto. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Towns finds Beasley. Now here's Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And here is Murray. He's got nine. Walker in the corner. Gay against Edwards. Back to Walker. From downtown. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And Doris Malik Beasley, no stranger to the entertainment business. His parents and his grandfather are all accomplished actors. Yes, but his father also played basketball professionally. Malik with so much talent. Now he's looking for his role to grow. And he's got the kind of heart and toughness to go make it happen. And so it's San Antonio with it after the basket by Minnesota. Gay passes to Aldridge. And the dunk by Aldridge. And this is the power you like seeing from Aldridge, leaving no room for error with that flush. Timberwolves trail by four. Beasley outside. And it's Russell in the corner. Gay with it. He has seven. Oh, the lob to DeRozan, takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Well, that's executing an alley-oop, if ever I saw one. DeMar DeRozan, he loves these highlight reel plays. Now, here is Russell. Kicks it to Towns, passes it to Rubio. Over in the corner, Edward. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got three assists tonight. Spurs leading by three. Outside DeRozan. And DeRozan throws it down hard. Boy, an outpouring of offense, and the whole arsenal is on display for DeMar DeRozan right now. 
Minnesota's gone one of four and three point shots here in the third. Here's Russell. 13 points in the game. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And really the defense fouling there to, to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Minnesota making some changes. Davis comes in for Malik Beasley. And Culver's subbed in for Ricky Rubio. And so Russell hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And Murray's got the ball here for San Antonio. Outside, Walker from the arc. It's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. It's Russell with the drive. And that one drops. Russell's got six in the quarter. Well, an excellent penetrator who is always in attack mode. Go ahead, D'Angelo Russell. Murray, the pass to Aldridge. Now Murray. He's got nine. To the middle. Gay can't hit. Timberwolves have gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Right wing. For the lead. And it's laid in by Davis. Davis has got the lead up to one now for the Timberwolves. You're fighting to keep the possession alive, something this guy does so well. Here's Murray, and it's Murray with the jam. And credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Here is Russell following the bucket by the Spurs. Outside, down. Up the line, Minnesota. And it's Davis missing. Spurs have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Now, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. He shot 5 of 6 at the foul line. for Walker. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Minnesota. Akogi comes in for Edwards. And San Antonio also making a switch. Mills, he's checked in for DeJounte Murray. And so Walker nails both of them. Timberwolves trail by three. Outside, Russell. The shot's good. Russell's got eight here in the quarter. San Antonio's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Gay outside. There's the dish to Aldridge. Back to Gay. Spurs passing it around. Pass to Vassell. Here's a Kogi. Right now averaging about five points a game. Yep, it counts. Russell's got ten points here in the second half. And defensively, they are on the every time the ball comes inside. San Antonio calls timeout. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. San Antonio making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. San Antonio trailing here. And here's Mills. He's got seven. Gay finds Aldridge. Back to Gay. 
And finished off by Gabe. Just another way Aldridge beats you. As a facilitator, very comfortable making decisions. Minnesota's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Goes up on the high post, D'Angelo Russell again. Russell's got 23 points. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. Now, here's Aldridge. Eight points for him. Mills can't hit. Russell looking around. San Antonio with the rebound. Gaze got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It goes on Ed Davis. And, and Gay isn't easy to tie up using his length and, and muscle to kind of power through the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. That's good from Rudy Gay. And the thing about Rudy Gay, you never know when he's going to have a night where he just explodes. He's one of those guys that can just score in bunches. Now, here's Culver. Pass to Okogie. A wide open shot from Hernan Gomez. Here's Davis. Out to Russell. Here's the three. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Now, while we've got a moment now uh, to see this year's three-point contest and how it's shaping up, let's take a look at some of the top candidates emerging as we see here some players who are likely to make the final cut. Not too shabby of shooters on this list, Kevin. you got to love the advancement and really the evolution of the three-point shot in today's game. You take a look at Towns. The third spot in the voting belongs to him. There are very few players with his ability from long range and it looks like he'll be rewarded with a spot in the three-point contest. And, and I'm sure there'll be some changes in the rankings still to come, but you're right. I, I'd be surprised if there's anyone who wouldn't cast a vote his way. And it's going to be an exciting showcase this year. Some incredible shooters, that's for certain. We'll keep you updated as we find out more. Yeah, and I think we're in for a real treat. I, I think the increased importance of the three-point shot in today's game has really shined a light on the talent precision and really the wow factor of how these guys can drill the long ball and mills in the nba for over a decade now ga but he still has incredible speed that's key to his game and kevin with mills that end to end speed doesn't get shown off too often in the half court though he does a great job of creating looks for himself accelerates off of screens can still leave a defender in the dust when he turns it on. So it's San Antonio now after D'Angelo Russell's miss. Fires for three. Mills can't hit. And so it's Russell with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. Trailing by five. And the basket by Akogi. San Antonio's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for three. There's the pass to Gay. 139 left to play here in the third. The sell, no good. Minnesota shooting around 48% so far in the third. Russell kicks to Hernan Gomez. Good D by Johnson. The Spurs shooting the ball at 42% to the paint. And Aldridge slams it in that those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Well, credit him for going for it, not settling, saying, I'm going to attack. Minnesota with the ball after the basket by San Antonio. Passes it to Davis. He dishes it to Culver. Six on the shot clock. Russell trying to free himself up, and the shot is good. The Spurs lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Culver. Mills looking it over. Davis against Gay. And Davis pulls it down. 
Minnesota shooting has been wayward so far. Only 37% from the floor. They get the rebound. Hernan Gomez. Two shots. Foul. Elbow. Two. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Not the best statistic for him in terms of his performance at the line. Very low numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Ricky Rubio checked in for Russell. San Antonio making a switch here. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. That one goes. Count it. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. Going right to the rim, which is where you want transition opportunities to end. Timberwolves trail by three. Rubio, the pass to Okogi. The feed to Culver. Got it. Good job in the low post. Culver's got eight points. There's a combination of size and agility that makes Culver a threat from the interior. This guy will find a way to create and get around the defense. To the inside. Seven-foot shot. And Aldridge gets it to go on the assist by Mills. And 12 points for LaMarcus Aldridge. And, and really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. It's the Spurs leading by three. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Well, having multiple playmakers on the floor makes you a much tougher team to defend. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. San Antonio leading by three. They've got Beasley. Ricky Rubio is out there with Culver. Then there's Davis. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the center position. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Now here is Aldridge. They grab their own miss. Here's Pirtle over Hernan Gomez. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Well, terrific use of the pump fake by Pirtle. He gets his man in the air, draws the contact. That move is just so effective. First free throw is good. Impeccable from the line since halftime. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Timberwolves trail by five. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on DeMar DeRozan. And that'll be his third foul so far. Now, here's Rubio, covered by Mills. And Rubio kicks to Hernan Gomez. Well, when you have size at your disposal, you've got to use that to your advantage. And Jakob Pertl throws that shot off there. Offensive rebound. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. pertle has got four this quarter. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the pay. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Hernan Gomez finds Beasley. at six goes up with the strike San Antonio with the rebound Pirtle's got rebound number 17 if you can believe that 
Hills with it. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Minnesota making some changes. Carl Anthony Towns checked in for Hernan Gomez. And it's Edwards in for Culver. Free throw good. Mills. Timberwolves trail by 10. Easily outside. Towns for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Well, after netting one in the first half, that's the second deep ball to go down for this guy. Here's Rubio. Pass to Towns. To the paint. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. If Carl Anthony Towns is feeling it, he will command the basketball. And as a coach, that's what you're hoping for. Pirtle kicks to White. Pass to Mills. Spurs working the ball around now. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. And now the Timberwolves on the break. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Outside, Towns. Shot clock at six. Here's Beasley, and there are the Timberwolves with another bucket. Spurs leading by six. Mills passes to DeRozan. Back to Mills. Outside Aldridge takes a three, and Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. And it's Rubio with the ball for Minnesota. And there's Edwards on the assist by Rubio. Now just a four-point San Antonio lead. Mills passes to Aldridge. Back to Mills. And he uses the glass on the layup. I'll tell you, they come out of the locker room. They are a step slow on the defensive end. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Rubio against White, and Rubio kicks to Beasley. And again, Minnesota with the triple. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And they've been very loose with the ball here. They haven't been as patient, forcing things a bit which has led to turnovers. They need to just slow down and relax. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Russell's checked in. The Spurs also changing it up. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for White. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Patty Mill. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. This is a close game, as you know, and he sounded extremely confident. He told the players, don't let up now, fellas. This is when we make our move, right now. Kevin? Thank you, David. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. They're just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Towns wide open. That three off the mark. San Antonio leading by five. Here's Walker. Oh, good on that one. Nice D from Russell. Minnesota's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And this is what the schedule looks like for the Spurs. On Tuesday, they'll go up against the Magic in Orlando. Then on Wednesday, they'll be playing against Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. And, you know, nobody loves playing break. on the road, two but shots. it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of games. And the first one at the line is good. Both 
free throws. Good from Rubio. Spurs have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Here's Walker. Minnesota with the rebound. Russell's got six rebounds in the game. To tie it up. And the basket by Rubio. Rubio's got five points now in the quarter. After being held scoreless in the first, he's turning it on here in the second. Murray, the pass to DeRozan. And it's Murray penetrating. And it's Murray with the jam. Big hops from the backcourt. <laughs> oh, absolutely. And maybe just what they need to get this game, G.A., going in their direction. Boy, as tight as this one is, that's a statement play saying, hey, listen, we're not here to back down from you guys. Here's Russell after the basket by San Antonio. And Towns gets it to go. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc, a key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection, swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. And it's Murray that time on the assist by Walker. Walker's got five assists in the game. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Minnesota's gone 4-6 from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter so far. And Rubio kicks to Russell. The pass to Beasley. Here's Edwards. Out of bounds, Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. Towers dishes to Edwards. Inside. A putback, and it's Towns on the follow. Towns has got the lead up to one now for the Timberwolves. Fact of the matter is, Carl Anthony Towns could be a menace on the glass. Good luck with this guy. Passes it to Walker. Pulls up. It's hauled in by Edwards. Edwards got six rebounds in the game. He feeds it to Beasley. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Towns makes the defender pick his poison. First free throw is good. And Towns drops them both. And his work at the free throw line has been terrific tonight, making the most of his chances. Walker the pass to DeRozan. Over Beasley. Back to Walker. The shot, no good. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. And he just dangles from the bucket <laughs> after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. Now here's Walker. Down low, Aldridge. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Walker's got six assists in the game. Timberwolves leading by three. To the middle, here's Towns, and they pick up two. Towns has got 29 in the game. And in the first half, it was a struggle offensively, shooting a very low percentage, but it hasn't prevented them from grabbing the lead, and, and now they're shooting it much better here in the second. Now, here's DeRozan. Here's Walker. And no good. Nice D from Russell. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Minnesota's gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. Back to Rubio. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Towns with the bucket. Now it's a seven-point Timberwolves lead. Well, they're leading in large part because of the work he's put in in this quarter. This is nicely done. Aldridge finds Pirtle. And here's DeRozan. Outside, Walker. And they call an illegal screen here. Oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. 
Timberwolves leading by seven. And the Timberwolves call time here. And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. He must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his status as a fan favorite. Now, here is Russell. Towns, no luck. DeRozan against Rubio. Shock up two there. One thing we know about DeMar DeRozan, this guy is a determined scorer. He's got those quick bursts. He can finish through contact. This is old hat for this guy. Here is Russell. Feeds it to Edwards. And stolen by Aldridge. Offense one, and the Timberwolves lead has been cut down now to just three in the basket from DeRozan. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. The Timberwolves shooting around 41% on the night. Easily outside. And Towns the bucket on the assist by Beasley. Beasley's got his third assist on the night. Murray surveying the D. Here's Aldridge. It's hauled in by Edwards. Edwards got seven rebounds in the game. And the first one drops. That one misses. Spurs trail by six. Walker with it. He's picked up by Russell. Shot's good by Walker. Yeah, nothing too fancy. It, it just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Walker against Russell. Outside town. Another miss by Minnesota. San Antonio's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. To Rosen, and he makes good on the way up. Now, just a two-point Timberwolves lead. Oh, my goodness. You could tell DeMar DeRozan demanded the basketball. He wanted the chance to be the deciding factor. Now, here's Rubio. He kicks it to Edwards. Six to shoot. Russell inside, working on Walker. In huge moment, D'Angelo Russell comes through big time. DeRozan against Edwards. Here's Aldridge. And a miss there on the triple. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. In the first of two, no good. Heartbreaking. That's good. Going one of two from the line, and that puts them up by five. Guys, some great passing from them. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assist pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. And now Rubio pushing it up. No one back to stop him. You know, in a very short period of time, because he's got such a versatile skill set, some people are already comparing Towns to Hakeem. Wow. DeRozan surveying the D. And rebounds again. He hauls in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. Timberwolves leading by seven. Rubio with it, now guarded by Murray. Russell with the bucket. Making every effort to put this game on ice. 
Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Now here's Murray. It's good. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. To Rosen, I guess they don't think he needs any help. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth. Cloak loose. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Murray with the ball. Yes! And what a huge sequence that could be. Wow, a play that might come to define this game. If anyone wants to know where the momentum turned, that may have been it right there. And so it's Minnesota with it, following the bucket by the Spurs. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Well, I think this is a, a great area of growth for DeMar DeRozan, his ability to use his teammates to enhance the team scoring. No good for Walker. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock, and so they choose to intentionally foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Yeah, the crucial part of those free throws is that it now makes it a two-possession game. San Antonio calls timeout. They're trailing by five. We've got 22 seconds left in the game. Guys, what do you think? Yeah, trying to get back in this thing, they need a score. They need to score, and they need to do it quickly, but it is still possible here. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. For three, Murray. That one doesn't drop. And that's an intentional foul. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Well, we know this. Free throw shooting is such a mental aspect of the game. This guy keeps his composure and comes through. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And a little late to implement a plan B. This game is a wrap. Well, I think he might just want to remind these guys, hey, let's finish the game the right way. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. 15 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Lehman. Pass to McLaughlin. And so Minnesota takes the win. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and, and to send these fans home happy. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin, with Carl Anthony Towns. You look so calm on the block. What has that focus been like for you? Just being patient, uh, waiting for my shot to come, not really forcing anything, but also being aggressive. And you do both very well. Thanks, Kat. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.